All right, this is a 52 inch four scenes veneer branded uh, ceiling fan that I got at the Habitat Restore. I believe the model name is Classic. Um, I'm pretty sure of that. And this thing is um, very rare actually. These are not common fans at all because they were mainly distributed uh, in Quebec. However, they uh, were made uh, actually they were made for the uh, entire Canadian market just that's uh, where they're mainly distributed. I'm going to talk about some of the features on this um, on this fan. It has reversible blades um, from plain wood to cane. I'm using the cane side though because I know I used the plain wood on my other other one because the uh, cane was actually missing. Some of the inserts were gone. Uh, it's in polished brass finish. You can see. And in addition to having an upper canopy, it also has a lower one because this one doesn't have a switch housing. That's where all the internals internals are housed like a capacitor and also some wiring. It also does have a adaptability for a light kit. Uh, however, I removed the original one and just put this on because I like it better without. Anyway, uh, without any further ado, let's uh, see this thing running. Let's start with uh, high speed. This thing flies, by the way. It's extremely powerful. I'm not even sure if this is actually a residential fan. Might not be. Although I uh, really don't know. It is super powerful. It is blowing quite a bit of air, I'd have to say. As for RPMs, I know it just looks like a blur on camera. That's it. Probably goes around 175. If you actually look on top, there's a white sticker. Kind of acts like a RPM guide type deal. And I'm gonna go to the next speed. Now I'm actually not using it on its original Four Seasons uh, wall control. I'm actually using it on a uh, one that uses capacitors um, to control speeds rather than uh, coils and. Uh, windings inside a transformer. I just wanted to try it out because I know I used a uh, the original control in another, um, the other one of these I had. I just wanted to mix things up. And I'd say uh, this probably goes around 150 RPM. Alright. Let me go one more speed down. This is probably going to go around maybe 75 RPM. Maybe 85 or 90 actually. I don't know. Somewhere around there. The motor is super silent, unlike the other one that actually had a humming issue. You can barely hear a thing on this one, other than the air noise coming from the blades. Last but not least, of course, lowest speed. It actually goes much slower than the other one. I'd say it probably goes around maybe 50 RPMs. So a nice aesthetic low and actually uh, not really pushing a lot of air, but it uh, still pushes some. Right here's the top view of it. You're a beautiful fan, actually. I like it uh, on low speed. Now turn it off and slow it down. Right now I'm going to talk about some general information on it. Um, as I did mention before, it came with a light kit. It actually had a very awesome schoolhouse globe. It looked like a, a Hunter original. However, I really do like these fans better without, so uh, put this uh, nut on here. And also, it's, um, this was a bit loose, this uh, lower canopy, so I did have to tighten it. Anyway, now I'm going to talk about the pros and cons. Um, I like the fact that this has a lot of features because it, uh, um, it is pretty advanced for its day and age. I mean, it's probably from the early to mid 80s, so it's really, um, uh, considering how old it is, it actually is quite feature filled. I also like the fact, um, that it's in polished brass finish. I guess that does count as a feature, but I, I really like polished brass fans. I just like the look of it in general. It's also pretty, uh, pretty nice quality. Anyway, now I'm going to talk about the cons. Um, on top of the fan here, there's a, uh, well, what used to be an information sticker, but it's basically history now. It got all scratched, and I can't read any of it, other than a uh, giant four, and the uh, Four Seasons Veneer logo. That's about it, really. 
Uh, the rest of it is just illegible. Anyway, uh, as for a general ranking, I'd have to give this fan four and a half out of five stars. Very uh, classic design, really good quality, and I much approve of it. I'd have to say it's a really awesome fan, and I'll definitely keep it for a long time. Anyway, if you'd uh, like to add a comment, uh, please comment in the comments box below. And yeah, thanks for watching.